first time a mother is sharing her anger after finding out her son's body had been stolen in Rockford, then found in an alleyway in Chicago. And OB Jan's Brona Tumulty is joining us now from the south side with the latest there, Brona. Good evening, guys. A very sad, bizarre story for this family who've essentially had to lose their loved one not just once, but twice. My baby was a lover, he, and he was just the life of the party. Cindy Howard's son, Curtis Brown, a father of 12, was 47 years old when a heart attack claimed his life a week ago. The sudden news, a surprise to his family, but an even bigger shock was ahead. My sister called me and she told me to call the funeral director, she said, because she said that uh, my son is missing. Curtis's body was in the care of Collins and Stone Funeral Home in Rockford and was sitting in their grey Chrysler on Saturday, which, according to police, was an easy target for a thief. Don't leave vehicles unsecured, running, and doors unlocked. Just so happened this one had a body in it. We're told this is the person who swiped that van after two o'clock, with the family saying they'd just been working through paperwork with funeral director Brandy Collins. She said, yes, we have your loved one in the back. That vehicle turned up Sunday in Chicago on the 1400 block of East 87th Street, but Curtis wasn't inside. Instead, his body was found yesterday evening in an alley along the 8200 block of South Manistee. They found my baby. He was dumped in the alley and he was buck neck. He didn't have on no clothes. Howard says she wasn't even told her son was missing until hours before he was found. We didn't find out nothing about the van being stolen until yesterday because I live in Tupelo, Mississippi. The family says the funeral director then stopped taking their calls. I text her and I was like, you know, Brandy, um, that's unprofessional. I said, you got to understand the, uh, the hurt that my sister is going through. I said, because she just lost her son twice, once in death, and now he's stolen. She's on probation. Did you know that? I didn't know until I seen the article. Public record shows Collins was fined $10,000 and is on probation until May of this year. With that disciplinary action based on unprofessional conduct, failure to account for personal property and aiding and assisting unlicensed practice. She just needs to be shut down. Period. Like, I have no remorse for her because she's not answering the phone. It's like, there's no more remorse for her. Now, we did reach out to the funeral home. They have declined to speak with us. Meanwhile, the family says the morgue in Rockford is working to ship Curtis's body back home to Mississippi, where he's originally from, and that is set to happen tomorrow. Meanwhile, if you recognize the suspect involved, involved in all of this, you were asked to give Rockford police a call. We're live on the south side. Bruna Tumulty, WGN News.